C. Lindelof videos converting polar coordinates to rectangular coordinates. So I got a little flack about this from people because I did a video on how to do this the other way with the, with the TR Inspire, ca Inspire cast. This is just so easy that I didn't want to go through the whole thing, but let me just show you the way I would do it with no tricks included. It's just as easy. Remember that the X value is R sine theta, where R is the uh, directed distance, and the Y value is R cosine theta. So look, I'm just going to move on and show you this really quickly. So given a polar coordinate, R theta, they're going to tell you that it's a polar coordinate. They're going to tell you that this is a polar coordinate. So when they tell you that, you can assume that this is the, dis this is the directed distance and that this is the uh, angular value. Then a rectangular coordinate could be found by evaluating just this. Easy, right? So I take R here, take cosine of the theta value that they provide us, and R sine of that theta value. So let's just do this really quick. I'm going to slow down, but this is easy. You don't have to do much trickery to, on your calculator to do this. So let's just look at it real quick. So remember, we have the, the point, the polar point 2 pi. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to my calculator. I'm just going to evaluate that. So we had 2 pi, right? We had 2 comma pi. So 2 is the distance. So 2 times trig, right? Cosine pi. Look, this is something you do have to be careful about. If you get some weird ass answer back here, you might want to reevaluate and ask yourself, do you have this in radian degrees? And if you're getting this back in numerical form instead of symbolic form, well, let's just look at this for a second and see what we get here. So here's negative two. We're not going to have a problem with this one. So there's our x value, right? Cosine. It's alphabetical. Cosine goes with x. So there's the x value of our point. Now I'm going to do the same thing to get the y value. Two times. Go to the trig, right? Sine of what? Of pi. Sine of pi is zero, isn't it? So this should be zero, right? It is just that easy. So I got a lot of flack about, hey, why didn't you show us how to use the calculator to do this? Because this thing can be stomped out this easily. This is not something you have to think about much. Going the other way is a little bit trickier. But if I had to do this and I was trying to do it with the greatest expedience I could possibly get, this is the way I would do it. I, it really is. So I hope this is helpful. I'm trying to keep the video short. Uh, if you have any uh, comments or questions, let me know. And if you haven't already subscribed, please.